This is the plaintiff, Krista Yvette Harris. She says she went to the defendant's club, checked her code at coat check, and they lost the thing. When she complained, the manager told her she was free to watch the surveillance tape from that night. And oh yeah, it was 15 hours long. 15 hours long. Was he kidding? Bottom line, they lost her expensive Kenneth Cole coat. And she wants the $299 purchase price so she can get another one. This is the defendant, Jody Messina. She says the woman claims to have left a sweater at the coat check and didn't come back until the following week to retrieve it. They can't be responsible for items left overnight or longer. She doesn't owe this girl a thing, and she thinks the judge is going to fully agree. She's accused of losing it. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says they're pricey. Kenneth Colco went missing out of the defendant's coat check and says the defendant is responsible. But the defendant it's says it's a gigantic scam. It's the case of the People's Coat. Thank you, Douglas. Crystal Levette Harris? Yes. You are suing Club Taboo, represented yes. here by Jody Messina. You're one of the owners? Yes, I am. Okay. For $299, the amount that you say... Uh, is the value of a coat that, according to you, they negligently lost. Tell me what happened. Okay. On January 14th, 2012, I went to Club Taboos. I did not want to check in my coat, but they said what that's the What is Club Taboo? Uh, it's a nightclub dance lounge. Okay. I had, there was a performance there last night. I mean, that night. One of my friends was performing. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, had you been to that club before? Yes. Okay. Uh, you have to pay $3 to check in your coat. So I checked in the coat. Okay, as the night goes on, it's, I'm ready to go home. As I'm leaving the club. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. <laughs> I asked that because in your uh, complaint, you said something I thought was so funny. I do not do clubs. But I, I went because my friend was playing. Ex yes. I do not do clubs. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so as I'm leaving, there's a long line, I guess, for people who's waiting to get their coats to leave. However, there was an altercation there that night. The club do have cameras. I don't know if they're inside, but I know they're outside. And it was fighting. Police was called that night. It was a bunch of confusion. I don't like confusion. You don't do confusion. <laughs> So I, I asked one of the bouncers, one of the young ladies, if I leave... That's actually in your complaint. I do not do confusion. I, do, I don't like it. I don't. I don't. I want to be you. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, you keep that in mind. I do not do confusion. All right? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I had asked one of the bouncers, one of the ladies there, if I leave my coat here, what, what will happen? She Why would you leave your coat there? I didn't want to stand on the line. I didn't know it was so much activity going on. I just wanted to leave. And it was a very cold night, but I just wanted to leave. I didn't know what was going on. All right. Okay. So she said to me, as long as you have your ticket, your coat will remain here. When she said that, I just looked at her. Did you side. have your ticket? I still have my ticket. Okay. Let me see your ticket. Go on. Uh, so... I left, and as I left out, I see this one guy, one guy, like, fighting with, like, two, three bounces. The police is there, people all in the, the parking lot. So now I'm going to my car. So I did leave. Okay. And I got in my car, and I did go home. Okay. The following week, that was on a Saturday. Okay. They was not open that Sunday. When I went, when I called, they're not open. Okay, so the following week, I go back. When? Um, the following Friday. So you left it there on Saturday, you come back on Friday. Correct. I did forget my ticket that sat that Friday. Okay. But, uh, I so didn't... long as you have your ticket, <laughs> nothing will go wrong. Okay. Right. So you go right. and I, I, I did forget my ticket, but I explained what happened to the girls at the coat check. They did show me two coats that was there and they was wool, but they was not my coat. So I did speak to the manager. Okay. Tom. Tom said to me, um, leave your name, your number. He said, just bring me your ticket. 
and we'll give you your coat. Okay, well, fine. There's only two coats there. Neither of them are yours. What were they going to do? Where, was you, where would your coat have been? I came back for the third time. This time I came back with my husband. Tom still don't have the Was ticket. your husband with you the night of the club? Nah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I take it that it was a girl's night and everything was fine. Otherwise, you wouldn't be bringing him with you for the coat check. Go ahead. So how do you protect yourself when you check an expensive coat at a coat check? What do you think? Put your name inside it. Inside of what? Inside wherever you can write your name that's clearly visible. Inside the coat? Yes. Yeah, but they got the coat. That doesn't work. What do you do? Um, I guess. There's an answer to this, guys. <laughs> there is an answer. <laughs> I guess with like a tracking device on it. No. Come on. There's an answer to this. I don't know. Ah, you know you get the you know you get the piece of paper. Okay. Well, then make them the make yeah. them write in their handwriting the kind of coat it is, and then make them give you that part of the receipt. Ah, going inside the courtroom. Okay, so um, <laughs> so you go back with your husband. I second. goes back with my husband. Um, Tom, that's when me and Tom spoke. Tom is telling me um, he has to review the camera. Okay. Um, What's he gonna do? Sit that there takes and up out? to fifteen that hours. Usually black and white. I don't know how you're gonna tell one great quote from another, but all right. He 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 says he have to review the camera. That takes over fifteen hours. Tom, that hap he told me he'll call and me on he a Monday. how's he going to know which one's yours? How's he going to recognize your coat? I don't know. He but didn't I tell you to review the camera? He, he asked me, can me and some of my friends come in to review the camera that's over 15 hours long? And what'd you say to Tom? <laughs> I don't do 15 hours. <laughs> <laughs> What you I work hard. Not. I work every day and I work hard. I don't think it's fit. And I, I felt insulted for him to be asking me that. I told him I, my work hours, I work from eight to eight. I mean, that's not my job. Right. So he tells you that you say no. So then what's the next step? He was supposed to call me that Monday. Tom never called me. So then I called again Tuesday. I did speak with Tom. Tom kept telling me, Crystal, um, someone claimed your coat. I said, how can someone claim my coat without the ticket? All right. Now, when did, have you ever met this lady? No. Okay. <laughs> so when did you get in on this when you got sued? Essentially? No, no. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because, um, well, he reports to me. Right. Um, we have about 500 people there in right. one night. So it right. is a little There's crazy. There's confusion. Um, it is a, a more mature crowd. We do a, um, it's a called grown folk night. So grown it's folk, I would like, never attend no, it's not a, grown it's folk not a kids club. <laughs> <laughs> you need to call it something else, girl. I don't I mean to um, tell you how to do your business, but as, do people um, come when it's grown folk night? Yeah, it's more grown like a uh, over 40 kind of No, night no, I know what you're targeting oh. and I would like to go if it, if it I mean, it's, I just don't want to call it grown folk. I don't know. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Um, it works for you. So what Tom did let me know that there was, you know, a missing coat and, and whatnot. We don't have cameras on the coat room, so I'm not quite sure why he would have said he was going to review the cameras. Yes, it is in black and white. We do have cameras in the club, but it's very hard. You could never tell right. who wore what coat. And right. so that... I'm Nor not would sure you know, why recognize her coat if you were yeah. the ones and it is in black and white, right? Sense. Exactly. Maybe um, he was hoping she'd go away. <laughs> well, no, he, she doesn't strike me as like she doesn't do going away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I did, you know, and I do feel, I feel, you know, it is we are partly maybe responsible because we did lose her coat. So um, the only thing I could have thought to do was we did offer her a bottle and a table to come back one night, and. She didn't, you know, want to do that. She said they offer you a bottle and a no, table. No, no, you want no. a bottle and a table? You think I want a bottle and a table over a coat? Oh, you wouldn't. No. How many people might want a bottle and a table over a coat? <laughs> <laughs> well, a bottle usually runs like three hundred dollars. But it, that, besides it that, we I understood she didn't want that. Um, so we asked her, and I was told. Tom explained to me um, that it was a gray cloth coat. Um, so, so nice. hold on, hold on. <laughs> we did look and it came back. So back you don't have forth. the coat. You we look, do not there's have the nowhere coat. else to look. Then I was and then you, but you're defending the case. You didn't just pay her what well, she wanted. So tell me what your defense is. Well, now it's a Kenneth Cole coat. Oh, no, and so, it wasn't a Kenneth Cole coat it was coat a before. great cloth you, well, coat. You have the receipt was, for the coat? So we asked no, her it, for No, I don't have a receipt. It was a gift from my sister here. Why doesn't she have a receipt? Because I don't keep Come on up. Like right, yeah. but how'd you buy it? Cash. Okay. Can I say something? Number what one. What did you pay? Two ninety nine. dollars When did size. you pay it? Like November, beginning of November. Okay, go ahead. Number one, 
it was never said it was a gray coat. Never. Well, it was a gray. It's a gray cat. It was a coat. black coat. It was Wait, a what? black wool coat. coat. Never gray. I never was offered anything. Okay. He never. I, I, I really felt disrespected. No one never called me to. He just kept asking me for a receipt and review the camera. Receipt, review the camera. That's it. I wish Tom was here. I really do. Yeah, because she'd like to give fear. him a piece of it's her really, mind. I really let do. me it's let me just fear. ask you guys about something nobody has mentioned, which it's is a little ticket. ironic. I okay. Have here Did as you well. want to mention it? Yeah. We, what? It, the ticket does state that we're not responsible for items left overnight. Then you shouldn't take them. Well, but they didn't keep them overnight. You left it overnight. I understand. That's that. the problem. That's true. Right. But I also so there's, have there's one sentence on your claim check. Not responsible for contents of garments or anything left overnight. I'm stuck. That's that's how this kind of thing is. You leave it over. You should never leave anything overnight. But they had someone else coat they left overnight. Why did they have they coat? Well, because you're confusing something they will do if they can with something they have a legal obligation to do. By putting this in here, which obviously the lawyers, this is how all claim checks are. They are any claim check in your life you've ever looked at has this sentence. I'm sure you've looked since then. So you know, because you're smiling. Everyone has that. Why? Because they don't want people leaving stuff and two weeks later, or a week later, or a month later, come in and say, ah, I left a Chanel bag here the other day. You know, they don't want that. They want in and out, in and out, in and out. They want the thing cleaned out so they know that they start with a fresh set of coats and series of complaints. They don't want people storing their coats there for the winter. So they tell you right here, you've got to take it. We're not responsible for it. And then in the situation like this, where they ended up losing it, this is what they rely on. So my job is to call balls and strikes. My job is to abide by the law once it doesn't get settled between you two. So it doesn't matter to me not that they, as a matter of goodwill, were trying to resolve it and would have and said they would. It doesn't matter. Now I've got one call to make. Are they legally obligated to do it? You and I both know that they're not. And therefore, I have to rule in favor of the club. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Well, so the plaintiff comes out empty handed after this verdict here in the people's court. What's what's what now? Club taboos. Oh, well. What about that? It's not worth it. I mean, if you can offer me a $300 bottle of champagne, which I never was offered, then you could pay for my coat. Stop it. And I'm sure one of the ladies that work there probably is wearing it. That's all I could say. I'm sure they are. If you could show me two wool coats that are no good compared to my coat, I'm sure someone there has it. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, ladies. Mm -hmm. All right. So come on in here. Would you still offer her the bottle on the table? <laughs> I guess not now. No? Well, no after I, which... I felt bad, but I thought that was kind of uh, fair. Mm -hmm. Is this, yeah. Have you been dragged into court on something like this before? No, I'm not. Is there any chance that bouncer told her that? No, I believe not. No? She's making that up? I can't say. I have no idea, but... Harvey. You know, I was going to tell you what to do when you go and check an expensive coat, but I just did. So refer back. That'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.